Maltese Falcon's got to be way up there. Uh, but, you know, I think the glass key is at least the equal uh, of the Falcon, and in some ways uh, it uh, moves me uh, a little bit more. You know, they're both books that are written out of the same sensibility, the same uh, sense of, you know, philosophical awareness, uh, the same kind of existential sensibility. Uh, but those two books, uh, to me, uh, are the pinnacle. The personal side to it is really kind of interesting because in terms of a writer and the letters that they send to individuals, um, they sort of cover their feelings, but in the letters written to their family, it's an entirely different level of, of personal information, and, and that's why it's kind of an amazing collection, and uh, that's part of the real lure for us. Uh, and having the two come together, it became the perfect collection. Uh, from a scholarly standpoint. One of the things I like about the library here in South Carolina is that you're combining both the crime fiction and s mainstream fiction. My grandfather wanted to be a mainstream writer. He really wanted to be the next you know, Fitzgerald. Uh, and he was friends with Fitzgerald, and he was friends with Faulkner and those guys. So um, I like the fact that, that while he is in the company of other crime writers, he's not being pigeonholed as just a crime writer. And that means a lot to me. It means a lot to him, I think. I would hope that somebody who uses this collection uh, certainly uh, you know, immerses him or herself in it, uh, finds all of the uh, uh, you know, hidden uh, treasures, hidden delights uh, that I think the, the uh, collection holds.